So the Apple I is considered by a lot of people to be basically the beginning of home computing. It's the first um, very highly popularized, accessible home computer system. This is the beginning not just of Apple computers, but so much else in the digital age. Mark Gruther and Christian Overland and I were at the curatorial conference room for an early meeting and Mark pushed his iPad across the table at me and he said, did you see this auction? I was like, Apple One, this is amazing. I know we've wanted one of these for a while. So I went back to my office. I sort of looked at it in depth after the meeting and I realized like, this is the one, we have to go for this. And I knew that the prices were going up and that if we were serious about getting one of these, we really needed to act on it. So I basically dropped everything and I started to just generate this document like as though I had approval to do it because I knew that the only way that it was going to happen is if we sort of just took that next step. So the collections committee, um, you know, there was a general consensus to proceed to, to go and do this. So Marilyn Zotis and I booked our flights and booked our hotel and a couple days later we were on, we were on our plane on the way there. The opening bid, I think it came in at 200k was the first bid. And then uh, it was between us and what seemed like multiple people on phone lines. And eventually it came down to just us and one other person on the line bidding back and forth. And Marilyn and I, uh, she was holding the paddle, but we were both sort of nodding simultaneously because we really wanted to make sure the auctioneer saw us, you know, making our bid. And we were just, you know, sort of locked in and like, yes, you know, we knew what our financial padding was and we we're like, yes, 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 we, we've got this. And eventually the auction rep who was on the phone, um, she just sort of like looked at us and smiled and she was like, you got it, you know, and that was it. And I actually have a text message on my phone that I've saved that, you know, we got it. And I think it was like at, you know, 3.24 p.m. One of the things that really was attractive about this Apple One is that it came with this collection, this historical document collection. So it came with these sort of newsletters from the Cincinnati Apple Ciders. And John Barkley Anderson, the owner of this, um, he founded that group. Another thing that he did is he organized the very first uh, Applevention and he brought in Steve Wozniak as the keynote speaker. And we have VHS tapes of that keynote speech. It came with a uh, monitor, uh, it came with a couple uh, period appropriate tape drives, which is what you know the uh, basic programs would load into the computer from. Uh, and it came with schematics. Uh, those are reproductions as well as the, the original operator's manual, which is also a reproduction. But both are authenticated and signed by Steve Wozniak. The idea is to get it out on the museum floor as quickly as we can. Um, that's step one. Um, you know, it's sort of like everything's in a bit of a gray area right now. We, we want to do events surrounding it, but right now we're really trying to figure out the balance between like how do we be proper stewards of this artifact? We know that it works, but how often do we work? Do we operate it? Um, how are we endangering the artifact when we do that? You know, are we endangering it by not operating it? So this is a very interesting sort of situation that is, you know, it's going to serve as an interesting um, sort of case study, I think, for um, you know, conservation outfits. Um, it has the potential to reveal so many hidden networks you know, that we don't think about every day. It has the ability to talk about marketing, about technology, and also about social history. Its impact on social history can't be overstated. But I also think it's interesting to think about the Apple One in the context of how it transforms the Henry Ford. You know, what is an Apple One computer in a private owner's hand versus an Apple One computer next to some of the greatest, you know, collections of technological artifacts in the world, um, you know, if we want to call ourselves the archive of American innovation, you know, this is definitely one of those artifacts that's going to be at the heart of that archive.